The co-pilot reports having seen a drone just 16 feet away as an Airbus flight prepared to land. Here's what's happening right now. The Columbia City Council is discussing whether to give city manager Mike Mathis a raise, and some council members are not happy about it. And that new leadership at the organization that oversees MoDOT could be making driving experience a little smoother. <laughs> Cammy Waits, Vivian Tran is here in the studio. Now, many of those tiny house dwellers say there's a financial independence that comes from moving away from a bigger is better mindset. But today was definitely one of those days you needed your coat in the morning, and then in the afternoon probably were like, do I need it? <laughs> exactly, yeah, gorgeous out there. For major historical events like Pearl Harbor, you always hear the question, where were you when it happened? Well, one Jefferson City man knows exactly where he was 74 years ago today. 28-year-old Amanda Schweiker was pulled over in Springfield, New York after police noticed she was missing a front license plate, but this is the plate that really drew the attention. An historic run for the Missouri women's basketball team faces another obstacle tonight. But a lot has been going on up in Columbia as well. KMUA's Colby Satterfield joins us now live from MU's campus with a look at what faculty members are saying tonight. Well, if you want to raise for the holidays, surprise, you're not alone. I was just trying to act like it didn't happen because I saw it happen too. I was like, all right, we'll just <laughs> I wasn't gonna let say it go. A word Maybe they didn't I... see it. 99% of TV viewers are multitasking with it heavily involving the use of a second screen. I can say I'm guilty of that. We have multiple reporters at the scene right now. Let's go first to KOMU 8's Lonnie Young live at the Texas County Sheriff's Department. We take a look at what this means for the local community and if they're able to provide more with more locations. Columbia police also arrested a man in response to a shooting at the range line and business loop intersection. You see it marked on that map right there. Julia doesn't escape again. I feel like that's one of those things you probably see and you're thinking, is that really a unicorn? I bet she made some kids day. The big man in red is taking a little time out from preparing for the holidays to hold office. You heard that right? Colin over here has Seahawk yeah. colors for his eye. He may or may not be a big Seahawks fan. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. Bit of a painful uh, day. Bad day for you. I might try and tough it out with the shorts just to enjoy the warmer weather a little longer. Right, yeah, tomorrow <laughs> you might be good for that. Okay, good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. And a look into what's new at the True False Film Festival this year. KMU 8 News at 6 starts now. After years of national controversy, the Columbia VA is working to improve its image and health care for veterans. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colin Ruane. I'm Landon Burke. Members of the First United Methodist Church gathered to say farewell to the shell of a building that remains after a massive fire earlier this week. This video comes to us from the Sedalia Democrat. Dirt rose in the air as cranes chipped away at the Reminist Church. The church sat on that same corner since 1888. Residents say that generations of families grew up there. 32-year-old Missouri man is in Callaway County Jail tonight on a $4,500 bond. This is Brian Higginbotham. He was a person of interest in a January burglary off of State Road near Williamsburg. Higginbotham had active cases in both Montgomery and Warren counties. One ethics reform bill has passed through the state Senate. The legislation has multiple components that have to do with money raised for campaigns. The bill would change how campaign funds can be invested and used and would prohibit the money from being converted to personal gains. If passed, the measure would also force former public officials to dissolve campaign committees before registering as lobbyists. Hey, well, News. All right, Pax, it looks like a lot of fun down there. The festival has a lot of people standing in lines, but this year it's not just to see films. KMU 8's Krista Gamalek spent some time checking out the festival's newest events and joins us now in the newsroom with more. All right, Krista, thank you. Despite some of the clouds out there, plenty of people made their way out for True False today, but what will the weekend bring? Let's send it over to Tori for a look at our weekend weather. Avoid the Atlantic Ocean in an El Nino system? Is <laughs> no. that what I heard? No, you no? don't. Okay. Decreases. There decreases. we go. There we go. That's right. <laughs> We're I'm, not I'm meteorologists a, for a reason. I'm a slow learner. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Tori. There are times that KOMU 8 viewers don't always agree with some of the topics we give extended coverage to. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. KOMU 8's continuous coverage on certain stories that might not directly affect mid-Missourians here can upset some of our viewers. Missouri basketball is trying to end its season on a positive note. See how the title Certain student 1950. And more about a car car wreck in Callaway County that stalled traffic today. Join us for KOMU 8 News at 10. Well, I like it. Yeah. We'll see you at 9 and 10. Take care.